Oh hey guys, today it is not the average gamers here. Today I'm talking about a game that I recently played called uh, Anna, and what it is about. It's just like kind of like a horror puzzle game, and it is very interesting, but also very challenging, both. And so what I'm going to be talking about today is just my like critical, you know, opinion, my review of it, so to say. So um, what what I think about the game is. I think the, okay, let's do my pros and cons list first. Okay, so pros about the game, like good things about it. Okay, the environments are great. The environments look amazing. They kind of look like um, the Amnesia engine, you know? They kind of look like that. I really like the like artistic side to it. And I kind of, you know, I just like kind of how like you can interact with the game. You get to use, you get to examine. It kind of tells you like that kind of tells you what you need to do with the game but the problem I have with the game and this is where the cons come in okay this is the bad part my okay so cons with the game what I would say the worst thing about Anna is the it doesn't give you guidance like the whole time like it just puts you in this game it says you need to get into this house get into the house you have like what you have a downstairs area you have a little room that you get into later you get up in the attic and then um, after that you can either go out the door with a key there's a, another door upstairs or you can go into the caves down below and this like imaginary door that's been there and you can use that key that you get and you can go into there and then that tells you the end of the story that's the true ending Whoops, I have my fan on. Okay, so yeah, it's, that's the true ending. Another thing that I do not like about the game is how the storyline is put together. The storyline, um, basically, from what I understand, is basically this guy um, doesn't know where he is, doesn't know what happened with him, and he goes into this house that's here. And he goes into the house and he finds out that um, evil things have happened, yeah, either just someone he was married to, someone he loves, something like that. He finds out through um, like pictures and stuff that uh, the person he loved was like shunned. Then uh, you know she was hated, she was outcast from society, and somehow she died. And then what you find out like later you play through, you find out that um, once you get into the true ending of the story you find out you you were probably the one who actually had to put her to death you her and her children and now you're going to live together forever trapped in this cave except you're going to die so basically it's saying that you're never going to uh, like be separated again and I thought that was the storyline was really dumb and it could have been done a lot better some things I would like to improve on was like uh, physics wise um, I like to. They did that. They made the story more um, compelling, or I don't know what, you, what word you want to use it. More of a story, like better story, besides just staying within a couple of rooms, finding clues about how to find out about your past when your past is only. It's not very big at all, and it would be easy to. I don't know. It's just, just. The game doesn't do good with the storyline, but, um, and the worst thing about it is just the puzzles. The puzzles, you just don't know what to do, like, about, like, let's see, like, about 70% of the time you don't know what to do, and, like, 30% you do. It's mainly just guesswork. And another thing I don't like about it, like I said earlier, you have, uh, you're in the rooms that are downstairs, you have, the main room, then you have um, the room you unlock, and then you have the room of stairs, then the caves. So basically, about 70% of it, I'm using that number a lot, 70%, I mean that percentage, you know what I mean, but about 70% of it is spent actually within, uh, you know, the downstairs area. And then you got about 20 percent upstairs so that leaves us with 10 percent so 10 percent rest of the game is in, within the caves so the majority of the game the three hours that it takes to beat the game 
on your first try. I'm saying that on your first try because you know what to do. If you know exactly what to do, you could probably beat the game in under a half an hour. I'm not even kidding about that. I could probably beat it in speed run within half an hour. But I don't want to play that game ever again. I'm, I'm just done with it. It's giving me enough frustration as it is. So what I'd give the game out of 5 would be, um, so let's say 2.5 out of 5. Just because it, it kind of drew me in at first and then it kind of ended poorly and the execution was not that good but it had it has potential maybe for mods or something so that's why I give it a 2.5 out of 5 and that's just my honest opinion about the game so yeah catch you guys later